Hi, my name's Joanne Kennedy. I'm a naturopath in Sydney, Australia, and I specialise in methylation and histamine intolerance. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about one of the main causes of histamine intolerance that is often missed, and that is Helicobacter pylori. So I'm going to share my screen with you, which is actually a part of my book that discusses the causes of histamine intolerance just so I can show you all the signs and symptoms of Helicobacter pylori and what to look out for. Okay, so Helicobacter pylori is a gram-negative bacteria and why it's gram-negative, the fact that it's gram-negative, I'll talk to you about in a minute, and it causes chronic gastritis and gastric ulcers. Okay, now chronic gastritis, the symptoms cause nausea, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, weight loss, iron deficiency, okay, so if you've got chronic low iron levels, maybe it's Helicobacter pylori, vitamin B12 deficiency as well, so it's good to get those two checked, and also the histamine symptoms, okay, headaches, migraines, anxiety, insomnia, hives, gut issues, okay. Now, a gastric ulcer, okay, can also occur if you have Helicobacter pylori, so it's a major cause of gastric ulcer, and that will cause all of these symptoms above, plus you can get blood in your vomit or feces, okay? So it's actually a, a quite a serious condition that you need to get medical help with, okay? Now, it is an infectious disease, Helicobacter pylori, so you pick it up from person to person, or you can, it can actually be spread by water or um, food contamination. Okay, so it's not commensal, it's not normal part of the stomach, it is an infection. Okay, so gram-negative bacteria, this is important, gram-negative bacteria contain LPS toxins. Now these toxins upregulate an enzyme called the histidine decarboxylase enzyme or the HDC enzyme. And that enzyme converts histidine into histamine. Okay, and also the mucosal damage that occurs in Helicobacter pylori and chronic gastritis and peptic ulcer will stimulate mast cells to release histamine. Okay, so if you are suffering with chronic histamine issues, if you've got low B12 and low iron, if you have a lot of, you know, the pain is, is one of the most common symptoms of Helicobacter pylori. You need to get that investigated and treated properly by a doctor, okay? So usually the treatment for Helicobacter pylori is antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors for a short amount of time. Being an infectious disease and actually being able to cause gastric ulcers, which is really serious, it really needs to be treated as a priority with antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors. You can then go on to help heal the gut and um, replenish the microbiome if you need to moving forward.